Welcome to sunny Orlando, Florida. Known for much more than amusement parks, it's the home of a club fit for soccer royalty and World Cup champions alike. This 25,000 seat privately financed soccer specific stadium with a 360 degree lower bowl sits in the heart of downtown Orlando and downtown Orlando is built into it. A stadium that is built for the supporters with a 10,000 square foot supporters terrace and the wall, Orlando's very own supporters section. From pregame to the final whistle, Exploria Stadium is a sight to see, offering spectacular views from all seats in the stadium and even street level. With an all natural grass surface area and a canopy that's designed to enhance the crowd noise and protect the fans from the element, this is a stadium that offers an atmosphere to drive the club to victory. My name is Miguel Gallardo, and now it's time to show you Florida soccer crown jewel, Exploria Stadium. Orlando City SC as Major League Soccer's 21st expansion team. In 2015, Orlando made the jump from USL to Major League Soccer. During the first five years, the club enjoyed explosive growth and garnered international recognition with the signing of big name stars. When I accepted this idea, foi um pouco dessa visão que é, iria que isso vai crescer muito. Rapid growth also came with growing pains as the team had varying levels of success in its first few seasons. In 2021, things began to change. The Will family, owners of the Minnesota Vikings, purchased the club and imbued it with a renewed energy to win. Put a lot of effort and resources into getting these players. There's a lot of clubs around the world competing for this town. And I think all the fans here are seeing how special they are, the energy, the strength, the power they bring. Results quickly followed. An Oscar Pereja-led team won the 2022 Lamar Hunt U.S. Open Cup, defeating USL side Sacramento Republic. The biggest moment in the history of Orlando City. If anything has been consistent in Orlando, it's the supporters. They've been at the root of this club since day one. Since the early USL days, the Lions are backed by some of the loudest and staunchest supporters in the league, including the likes of Iron Lion Firm, The Ruckus, and others. These fans have backed the club on and off the pitch. That community element is vital, not only in times of celebration, but in times of adversity and mourning. This is a very special section in Exploria Stadium, which represents the 49 victims of the Pulse shooting. These rainbow seats are located in section 12, which commemorates the victims of the tragedy in June 12th of 2016. The deep connection to the city and the supporters can be felt before the players even enter the pitch. This is the tunnel where the procession happens right before the big match. Both teams' players stand right here, right before they face the field. One cool thing about this section, on the right-hand side, the home team stays right here. There's a lot of positive messages written by the fans, handwritten in 2017. Now the away team will stand right on this side, where the messages are not so positive. Now, I am standing in the Capo Stand, one of the most iconic parts of Exploria Stadium, which we like to call the Wall. This is North America's first ever and safest standing section, and it's also the largest, sitting at the steepest grade possible, 30 degrees, so the ILF and the Ruckus can stand right above the action. Now, this is one of my favorite moments in Orlando City's history. It's called the running of the wall. It was 2019, Lamar Hunt US Open Cup, Orlando City hosting big rival NYCFC. The wall is full. The Portuguese man gets inside, crosses it for Mueller, and the header's in. Dina floats it in, knocked down by NYCFC. Morales gets a touch, and NYCFC equalized. 
the game ends level. The referee blows the whistle and there's the coin toss. NYC wins it. They choose the South End conveniently. And all the fans from the wall rush the concourse on the east side to get to that end. The rest is history. Waving the supporters on. Buddy, this is what the Lamar High New York Open Cup is all about. With new ownership, this club keeps growing and growing. With new signings, winning Open Cups, and fostering the youth talent in Central Florida, this club is ready for the next generation, being led by a man who has youth development in his score. Exploria Stadium is ready for the next big thing. Are you?